Expect nothing less than chaos at this equine market in Dublin. Soon after the dawn of the first Sunday of every month, Smithfield Square fills with hundreds of horses as well as scores of dealers keen to make some cash and a few quick sales. Some of these horses go for as little as 200 euros. Ireland is known for its sleek thoroughbreds and rugged steeplechasers and events such as the Irish Derby, Goth's bloodstock sales and the Dublin Horse Show draw the international horsey set in droves. But in Smithfield Horse Market in Dublin, caters to a rather different crowd. Held in the traditional market area of the north inner city, this monthly fair deals in discount horses, ponies and donkeys to groups of small farmers, travelers, gypsies and working class youths. On the first Sunday of every month, the cobblestones ring with horseshoes as buyers and sellers haggle over draft animals, trotting horses and unkempt little ponies of a dozen breeds and none. With Dublin desperately transforming itself into a generic, modern European city, the Smithfield Horse Fair has become a glimpse of the older piebald Ireland fast receding into myth. Unfortunately, the authorities hate it. Loosely organized and difficult to police, the fair has long been a source of anguish to an increasingly regulated city. And after a runaway horse injured three people, Dublin City Council moved to shut it down. To no avail. On Sunday, hundreds of people and dozens of horses, ponies and donkeys turned up anyway. A spokesman for the Dublin Horse Owners Association said there's been a horse fair in this area since 1665. My family has been in the horse trade here for 273 years. It's one of the few bits of culture we have left and they're trying to take it away. Dublin City Council says the cobbled Smithfield Market Square is not a safe place for horses. The Dublin Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says the market encourages teenagers from rundown areas north and west of Dublin to buy cheap ponies they cannot afford to keep. Neglected horses are a big problem on the outskirts of the city, often causing accidents when they stray on busy roads. A Dublin Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals inspector said some of these kids have no idea how to look after horses and they don't have the resources either. You can hear stories of people keeping horses in their back gardens and that does happen. As he spoke, teenage boys were galloping their ponies back and forth over the cobbles to try and impress potential buyers. A practice the Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says seriously injure horses' hooves. The Horse Owners Association says the authorities are still delay with the creeping gentrification of Dublin's inner city, which is halted on the edge of Smithfield Square. They want to turn this area into a new temple bar, all yuppie flats and restaurants and nightclubs, he said. There'll soon be no room left for the people who live here now. Dublin City Council has asked the government to change the law so it can close down the Smithfield Horse Fair. But traders say they will resist any attempt to stop a tradition they claim dates back hundreds of years. Dublin City Council has asked for legal changes that would allow it to extinguish the right of horse traders to operate a market on the first Sunday of every month at Smithfield. Under the current legislation, the council cannot do this without providing an alternative site in the vicinity, and the manager said the council cannot afford this. The manager said that the fair is run by a number of individuals who do not have insurance or an event management plan. The health and safety survey commissioned by the council found significant risks in all 16 categories that it examined. Dublin City Council hope that the law will be changed soon. The Dublin Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals also wants the fair closed and has said it supplies animals that end up being mistreated and neglected all over the city. But a spokesman for the Smithfield Fair said City Council had failed to provide any proper facilities for the market. And he claimed it was a new apartment owners and hotelers that were pushing for the fair to be closed, even though it was there long before they were. He said he could not see the council succeeding in closing down the fair. 
And so until all the parties can reach an agreement, the Smithfield Horse Fair continues to operate on the first Sunday of each month in Dublin, Ireland. This is Don Bailey reporting from Dublin, Ireland.